Okay, guys, Mr. Mark here. We're back again with episode 8 of my expert's guide to fishing resort on the Nintendo Wii. We're here at the Canaan Lake and trying to catch the white sturgeon right now. I'm in the boat just driving back and forth looking for the white sturgeon. And, uh... So this is episode 8 of my expert's guide. If you've... Oh, there it is, right there! Would you believe it? Would you believe it? Right under the boat, I saw it. Okay, now here's the tricky thing. There it is, right there. I hope you guys can see that. The tricky thing is, I'm using the... Oh, and it's going for it, I think. Well, maybe. But I'm using the storm killer... Okay, it's going for it. Alright, we got it, guys. Hang on. This is going to be the hard part here. We're using the Storm Killer Lunker Keeper combo, which uh, isn't quite as good as the Titan Infinity. Um, whoa, so we'll be lucky if we don't break this fish off. I'm just telling you guys right now, I have to concentrate so I don't break it off, but it. Uh, oh, geez, oh, geez. But if, if it does break off, don't be too surprised. I just wanted to show you guys this white sturgeon. We've already caught it before a couple times in other videos of mine. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But I don't think we've ever caught it in any of my videos using the Storm Killer lunker keeper combo but a lot of people have asked me uh, what else can you use besides the titan infinity and uh, but here now looks like we might get it guys boy this is exciting my heart's racing I'm reeling away on the nunchuck and just hoping this thing doesn't break off Oh, no, 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 no. Getting carried away talking to you guys. Gotta be careful. Oh, jeez. Come on, stay on there. I'm talking too much, but I, I'm just too excited. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I can't stop talking. I'm so excited. Because if I could get this in, it'd be the first time... Uh, that we caught it on the storm killer. And it's much more challenging that way. Whoa, geez, almost got it. Luckily, I, I think this is a smaller one. We'll see in a minute here. This is, a, I think this is a smaller one, so it's not. Um, okay, almost got it. Whoa. New catch, the white sturgeon. All right, guys. Yeah, C rank. I was lucky that wasn't a, anything bigger, or I probably would have lost it. But there you go. So it's possible to catch the white sturgeon on the Storm Killer Lunker Keeper combo. And probably even possible on uh, some of the other combos, but that's about all I would dare to try it on myself is either the Storm Killer or the Titan Infinity combo. Like pretty much those two or, or uh, anything else you're talking like uh, It would be really hard. Let's see. Okay. Now we just got to catch some new species because uh, that guy, there's one right there. That's a new species. That's the other thing we found out in the last episode. There's a new species right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just barely. There's one going for it. All right. Got it. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a big fish, but nothing compared to that white sturgeon. 
but the white sturgeon was a new species just now too uh, and uh, if you saw the last episode we found out that we need to collect 80 species that's the last thing we have to do to get the cruiser we already completed all the quests and went to all the main areas the only other two areas or three is, is the uh, cave and the two islands which which you can only get to with the cruiser there you go there's a new catch with the muskie okay so I might have to actually open up my fish log and and actually count how many fish I have I would have thought I'd have 80 already but um, anyway let's get let's try to catch just a few more species here while we're here because there's at least a couple more easy ones to catch in here that I know of one thing I'm going to do is real quick I'll switch over to the heroic with the worker keeper and the quick hitter regular because uh, I know of a few smaller species over here. I think I might have uh, just seen one. I don't know what that is. I'm going to give this a cast right here. Or no, I think that's the brook trout, which I've caught already. Oh, I saw a different one. But I know right over here, basically. Let me just hightail it over here. I know right over here there's one. I just need a couple more species. I wouldn't be surprised if we're very close to 80 already, if not... Maybe we have 80 already, we just gotta go talk to the guy again. But while we're here, let's uh, catch a few of these. A couple different ones out here. That might be a lake trout, but if I can get one of the... Um, yeah, that's a lake trout. Let me cast it again. There. That's better. any one of those is a new species there that one no he all right whoop I, I think I got weeds believe it or not almost always want to get some weeds first uh, just just for the fun of it I usually like to catch a couple of weeds before I catch any fish just because it's fun but that's a new catch on the on the bushy water weed. Okay, there's a couple of new species right out there though that I see right there. That one would be new. That red one right there. Okay, looks like it's going for it. All right, got it. Great. There's like two or three other new species that I know of that are easy to catch right here and uh, and then we'll work back down to teaming in a minute and we'll talk to the guy again see how close we actually are to 80 even if I have to count them up we've got to be very close already catch sockeye salmon female okay that's a new catch that might be the one that <laughs> actually is like kind of hard to find um, or at least it took me a long time to find it the first time was the female because uh, see I think that other one right there is the male right there that's one is going for it looks like 
if we're lucky though. I think I'm, I could have hooked another female though because there was like, at the last minute, three or four of them went for it. But we'll see, this is, this could be another new catch right here. If it's the one I'm, I'm hoping it is. Oop. And even still, I think there's two or three others right here that we haven't caught yet. Is this the one? Yeah. That's the male sockeye salmon. Okay. Who else is over here? Anybody? Uh, mm. I went ahead and set the hook anyway. I couldn't see what what was biting, but I set the hook anyway. We'll just see, because I think there's one more over here. We'll give it a few more casts. If this isn't the one, I'm thinking it is. It feels like it's probably another sockeye. But there's also one right here called the cutthroat. What's this though? A lake trout? Oh, a silver salmon. Okay. New catch. The more new catches, the better. I'll give it another shot then, since I gotta... I'll keep going until we don't get a new catch, and then first fish I catch that's not new will move. Okay, there's one. I don't know what this is either. It looked like a small one. But then again, there was a couple ones over there, so... We'll just have to see in a minute here. Seems like it's uh, not too big. Female again. Okay, so that one we already caught, so that means we'll move. Ooh, wait, I thought I just saw it. One that I want. Is that, is that it right there? Oh, yeah, wait. I'm going to catch that fish if I can. If I can just I think this might be a new one or, or maybe not but um, sort of look like a new one it could be just a brook trout but there's one over here called the cutthroat what is this is this the cutthroat oh no the brook trout Okay, so let's go hightail it out of here, and we'll just, for the fun of it, try one more fish that I know that's sort of easy to catch over here. Then we'll warp back down to Teenan. But this fish belongs in the experts guide as well since we're here and we're already on on this part of the lake you almost have to stop by and catch it if if you're here switch over to my storm killer bunker keeper combo with the quick hitter regular and then I'm gonna look out for the Hynaria which lives right over here by these rocks. Ooh, did I see one? 
No. And the only thing with these guys is that if you can see one, you have to kind of try to trap it against the shore. Otherwise, they'll get away like almost every time. But I'm not going to spend too long trying to catch one because I, I just want to catch new species and sometimes it can take all day to catch one. So um, I'll just give it a few passes and if I don't even see one or, or get one first try then I'll, then I'm going to warp down to teaming. As I remember, like, uh, first time that you catch one of these things, they're hard to find. Oh, there's one right there. Let me turn the boat around if I can do it in time. Yes, this might work. Okay. There, right there. Can you guys, can you guys see that? That's the Hynaria. And I've got it in a good position where it's uh, sort of trapped up against the shore and it looks like it's about to bite it alright now the question is whoa geez I probably broke it off already no I didn't oh my god I gotta be careful actually probably shouldn't talk to you guys It'll be a, it'll be like a, wonderful if this thing stays on. Sometimes they'll, they'll just break off if you get them in the red, uh, halfway through the fight. Like, I already got it way in the red, so I'm kind of worried now. But there, you see how it's hitting the shore? That's what you want. Like it's sort of stuck at 60 feet. It can't really go any farther than 60 feet because it's hitting the shore. And uh, that's what you need. You need to trap it against the shore like that because otherwise it'll just pull all the line out and break you off every time. So you need to have it trapped against the shore like that. Now I think I got a chance if it if it doesn't just pop off. This will be a new species too, so that's good. I just reel like in short bursts. You can't reel too much at once or it'll break. And you can't stop reeling for more than a split second, otherwise it, it'll uh, break off the other way. Take you into the blue. Okay, we almost got it here though. This will be good. This could be good. Come on in. Did I get it? Oh yes. Whew. Sun. It's a new catch, the Hynaria. 16 feet. Can you believe that? A rank. Okay. And I'm ranking up to the expert rank 5. Okay. So, first thing, I'm going to warp back to the hotel. If we have time, I'll warp down to Teeman. It might want us to go to sleep first, but let's see. Got to turn that fish in. Couple fish here. Good thing is, see there, you got the sturgeon and the uh, binaria. You get so many points with those things. Like, look, look at, look at that. That's almost enough to buy the cruiser. Well, not really, but 
a ton of money for one fish. All right, can I warp over to the uh, Kingdom Deej? Warp down, warp me down to Teeman. Or drive, drive down. I'll go talk to the guy straight away and maybe he's ready to sell it to me, the cruiser. It might want us to go to bed. But let's try. Oh, <laughs> it wants us to go to bed. Like right when I got there, it said, go back to the hotel. So we'll have to catch some rest real quick. But that's good anyway, because I want it to be daytime. It's just easier to see. Days on Penangapan Island rank up. That's not easy to pronounce. I'm probably got that totally wrong. So let's go see what the dude with the cruiser has to say, first of all. And then we'll see how many species we need. Work down to the shop. This dude was one of the first people that we met. And now he's the last quest, essentially. Oh, good. We already have 80. Ho, ho, he says. So here we go, guys. This is it. This is it, guys. He also tells me to catch every fish in the game, which is not officially a quest. You don't have to ever do that, but I did um, just because I wanted the challenge. But there we go, guys. This is the moment you've been waiting for. The Ocean's Dream quest complete. Grab hold of the dream, guys. Get that cruiser. It's a lot of fun. And uh, just before I get on there, let me check something. I'm going to check my float. No, I didn't. I don't get the um, Titan and Infinity yet. That's interesting. I wonder if I actually have to go to the islands to do that. Like you have to go to um, all of the islands maybe or let me look real quick before we ride the cruiser just bear with me guys because I don't think as I remember you don't actually buy the Titan and the Infinity no uh, it also might show up um, after I go to sleep one more time like it might kick in tomorrow morning what I'm thinking so um, Let's go on the cruiser. This is it, guys, the cruiser. I want to get on it. Do I have to talk to him again? Oh, yeah, I think I do. I have to um, talk to him one more time just to buy it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then I want to buy some trolling rods, so there we go. I, I hadn't actually completed the quest, <laughs> but look at all those bonus points. See how many bonus points that is? It's a ton of bonus points, and that's uh, basically so you can go right ahead and buy uh, some trolling rods, so we'll do that too. So, okay, we got the map also, just for, and we got the help master completed which 
gives us the award of the Titan Rod and the Infinity Reel, guys. So there you go. That's the moment everyone asks me about. Here it is. This is the screen right here. The X999 and the X009. The Titan Rod and the Infinity Reel. That's what you want. And we got it by completing all the quests. So there you go. I just have to leave it for... Let's just have a moment of silence for the Titan and the Infinity Rod and completing all the quests. Completing the ocean's dream. It was his dream and our dream to do this. And I'm glad that you guys have stuck with me for this whole thing, if you have... So here we go. I just want to bask in that for a moment. Now that we got that, though, well, we don't want to ride it quite yet, but look, let me show you. This is what I meant to show you. So there it is. Boom. Titan rod in the infinity reel. Boom. Purple with crystals on it crystals on your rod purple crystals okay so that's the best of the best for the extra large fish uh, but as you've seen we did very well with the storm killer so that is what you can use if you don't have the titan and the infinity and uh, just to say again real quick it's the lunker keeper that's the other good reel so anyway, I'll go ahead and um, equip that right now, just for the fun of it. Titan, Infinity, with the Quick Hitter, Large. But I also want to go in here, just while we're here with you guys. If we have enough money, we'll see how many trolling rods we can buy, because this I haven't shown you guys yet. So now that we got the cruiser, come back in the store, and um, ooh, I want to go uh, here, actually. To the Marine Buster. And I'm going to buy as many of those as I can. Do I have enough points to buy one? Can I buy three? Let me see. I think I'm able to buy three of them right now. That's pretty good. You can buy five all together, but we just got three. And you don't equip them. You have to, you can only use them when you're trolling. So they don't show up in your, uh, like, regular tackle box. They only show up when you're trolling. Now we're almost uh, out of time, so I'm just going to get on the cruiser. And we'll, like ride off into the sunset for you guys on our brand new cruiser. Oh, and you know what else? Before uh, before we run out of time, we'll show you. So this is driving the cruiser. We now are out to sea. And we got the ocean map. Let's check that out. So here we go. That's me, the orange, little orange dot there. And this now is a big, huge area that just got opened up because we bought the cruiser I mean this map is comparable to the game uh, Wind Waker you know Wind Waker Zelda Wind Waker it's it's almost that big if you ask me it's huge and uh, so there's the map and there's some islands that we can get to now probably in the next episode I'll uh, drive over to those islands for you guys but I just want to show you guys this too while we're here while we have enough time let's go inside the cruiser here's the inside of the cruiser <laughs> you have everything you would need in here you got your little computer and your suitcase with your clothes and everything and a place to sleep so you actually uh, can take this out to sea and sleep anywhere. Like, see, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll do it right now. I'll take a nap in the cruiser just because. <laughs>
Oh, look, I got a bonus, too, for sleeping on the cruiser. <laughs> okay. And if I have time, I'll show you one other thing, too. I might have just a few seconds here just to show you guys. I'm not going to catch a fish, but I'll just show you the trolling really quick before we run out of time. So this is how you troll. Um, I'll just set it up real quick. You can choose different colors, uh, different colored lures. I'll just choose three, three random colors. Oh, did I get a free rod too? Yes, I think I got one free with the, with the cruiser, so I have four actually. But here we go. Uh, this is trolling. And uh, we're out of time though, so I'm not actually going to catch a fish, but I'm going to stop it here. And uh, that was it, guys, for our expert guide. I think uh, when, when you tune in for the next episode, we'll be... Uh, We'll call it something else. I don't know what, but uh, we'll probably go over to the islands. And hey, there's a bite. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here, guys. As I'm catching a fish, and uh, I'll I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Whatever it is, I'm gonna go to the islands. Uh, maybe do the password fish. Who knows? So so stay tuned. I'll catch you guys there. <laughs>